Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Halloween is my favorite holiday of all time. So this month we are gonna be making a bunch of Halloween themed recipes. And I got a lot of requests from you guys for a Halloween recipe, but you wanted something easy. You said you want easy mode. So that is what we're doing today. This is one of the easiest recipes I've ever made. And it's one of the easiest Halloween recipes ever made. So this is a great recipe if you're a beginner baker or you want to make something for the holiday or a yummy little comfort food, but you don't want to spend a ton of time. This is it and it's delicious and it's fun and it's it's magical. If y'all love baking videos and you want to see more of them, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video, because we are going to be baking a bunch this year. Also, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram right now, because I am doing some giveaways and I'm posting some really cute recipes and photos and things, and you don't want to miss, especially if you like Halloween. We're going to have a lot of stuff over there. And now, without further ado, we are going to be making Hocus Pocus Buns. <laughs> now the name of this dessert is a little bit misleading because it's not from the movie Hocus Pocus, but they are magical because the marshmallow disappears. And because these are called Hocus Pocus Buns, I will take any excuse I can to dress up. I love it, I love Halloween. So I dressed up as Sarah, one of the Sanderson sisters, and I even got Book over here. And if you've seen the movie, you know Book. We've even made Book cookies on Nerdy Nummies. I'll put a link down to that video. It was so cool. Now let's make some magic happen, easiest, Halloween dessert ever made. Let's get started. The ingredients you'll need to make these Hocus Pocus buns are right here. Look at these ingredients, so easy. Some marshmallows, these are the regular sized ones. Quarter cup of butter, quarter cup of sugar, teaspoon of cinnamon, and one stick of Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. That's it. Boom, easy mode and no decorating. Now let's put it all together. First thing you're gonna do is melt your butter. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave. Just be careful because the bowls get hot in the microwave. Now the butter is melted, smelling good. Next step, you're gonna mix together your cinnamon and sugar. So just pour the cinnamon into the sugar bowl, whoop, just like so, and mix it up. I'm using a little spoon. Just mix together till it's well combined. You want it to be all the same color. I do the same thing when I'm making churros or cinnamon toast. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Perfect. Boom, we've got butter, we've got cinnamon sugar, and now we need our rolls. Oh geez, it's been a while. Every time I do this, it, I get surprised. Peel, press, pop. I feel like Winifred when she wakes up like hundreds of years later and she's learning how to do something in the new age and I'm like, peel, peel press, pop. Mm -hmm. Pull. scare, a free scare built in. <laughs> oh, that really did get my heart going. Okay, we're gonna unroll our dough. Oh, I love this dough. It's so easy to work with. Look at that, yum. Every roll has eight pastries, so you can make however many of these you'd like. I'm gonna gently pull these apart. I'm gonna line it up over here. Got my little station. I'm gonna show you how to do one and then I'm gonna do the rest of them. Start with your marshmallow. And don't eat it. Okay, that's the hard part. Then you're gonna dip it into the melted butter. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. And then you're gonna roll it in the cinnamon and sugar, just like you would a churro. Now place the marshmallow on the crescent roll. You're gonna place it on the widest part, the bottom of the triangle. And then we're gonna roll it up tight. So I'm gonna roll it over 
Woo, like this. Roll, 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 roll. Tight, 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 tight. Now this part is really important and it's the only tricky part about this is you really have to pinch together all of the openings. Cause when it bakes, you don't want it to open up. And if there's any loose dough, it tends to do that. So really press all the edges together. Pinch them together with your fingers. And if you take the time to do that, these are gonna turn out perfect. Ta-da! And the marshmallow is inside the bun. And then you place onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper so that they won't stick while they're baking. Boop, like that. And then after we bake them, cut them open and guess what? <gasps> They've disappeared. It's all a bunch of hocus pocus. I'm here for it. I am physically here for it. I, I, I love it. I. <laughs> This is amazing. So I'm interested to know, have you guys seen Hocus Pocus? And if you have, how many times? Also, do you have a favorite character? I have a couple. I like Winifred. I know even though she's the bad guy, I feel like she's still trying to be a good sister. She's like trying to save her sister's lives or whatever. You know what I mean, Molly? Like if we were witches, I would try to save your life. Could you imagine, Molly? Okay, we're sisters, which we are. We're witches, and the town is literally trying to burn you alive. That's so rude. Do you know the hell I would raise? Oh, heck no, I'd be like, book. I'd be like, hold on, hold on, break. Okay, okay. You're getting the black cat curse, okay? Ooh, this is an animal uh, curse. I'm gonna turn this guy into a frog because he called Molly a name. I'm not having that. Mm -mm. This is a life potion and this is where it gets complicated. Am I wrong, Molly? Mm -hmm. Because what about you're getting older? I don't want to lose you. Do we bust this baby out? And that's where morals and ethics and all this comes into play, kids, right? So you gotta pick what kind of witch you want to be. Brings me back to the question, if I'm a vampire, do I bite you or not bite you? You. Excuse me? If you're a vampire, you're wondering if you bite me or not? Yeah. Molly, how are you even debating this? Of course you bite me. I would be so offended. If you turn wow. into a vampire and you didn't bite me, and you didn't invite me, I'll have the most FOMO in my whole life. I literally, out of spite, Molly, I'll find another vampire to bite me, and then I'll never let you forget it. Wow. Literally forever. I'll literally live forever, never. I'll literally live forever, never. and you it'll be 300 years later, and I'll be like, maybe that one time, you became a vampire and you didn't invite me to be a vampire with you and be vampire sisters, which sounds like an awesome movie by the, oh, we should write a movie, Molly. It's called Vampire Sisters. Vampire sisters. But I digress. Now back to baking. Now do this to the rest of your buns. Our Hocus Pocus buns are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 375 degrees and bake for 10 minutes or until they turn golden brown. Just took these out of the oven and this is a very important step. So you're gonna place them down and let them cool for five minutes. Now this is important because the marshmallow that's inside is still melting right now and it continues to melt while it's on the hot pan. So this is a part of the magic. This is a part of the hocus pocus. If you cut them open and eat them right now, you might still see marshmallow. So you gotta let them cool on the tray. But after five minutes, you can't. Nom 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 nom. Da da! There you have it. Hocus pocus rolls. That easy. I'm so excited. Okay, let's open one of these up. Let's see if these hocus pocus buns are magical. Did our marshmallow disappear? The bun is really warm and this smells so good. I'm gonna tear it open. <gasps> Ooh, ooey gooey butt. Look at that. No. Marshmallow. This is perfect. The marshmallow has disappeared. Mmm, it's so good. This recipe is so easy, it's so much fun, and it is delicious. Oh, mm, 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 mm. oh my gosh, look, it's the, the marshmallow is sticking to my hand. How did this happen? Molly, is this some kind of witchery that you did to me? Mm -hmm. Did you cast a sticky spell on my finger? Yeah. 
rude. I'll be posting the recipe and a bunch of pictures over on Instagram, so go check it out there and my website. And if you guys make this dessert, please take a picture and tag me. Use hashtag real recipes so that I can find it and like it and heart it and show you all the love because I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day, especially when they're spooky, especially when they're Halloween themed. Also, don't forget, if you like easy baking videos and recipes like these, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Happy Halloween. And if you wanna watch any other videos, you can watch up here or up here. Molly, can you smell these?